Welcome to our question one evaluation. Our first shot is significant because it sets up the whole movie by using a Ouija board. We made the board look old so it looks more realistic. We thought that using the board would make the audience question, could the board already be open to spirits? Messing around with other spirits and the underworld is a classic horror icon. The shot draws the audience in and lets them know that something is going to go wrong. We deliberately had the girls drinking and laughing to show the girls aren't taking it serious. This shows the audience that something bad is going to happen. This is a classic horror convention which is similar to Cabin in the Woods, Scream 4, Wolf Creek. This also follows voluntary which is when young people doing things they shouldn't always do. One of the ways in which our opening title sequence develops convention is by having a plain background. We had a more creative suggestive moving image background. Our background suggests to the audience something spiritual and misty. This fits in with our theme in the Ouija board. The colour scheme we deliberately used was colour corrector to an orangey red colour to suggest demons. We wanted to include creative camera shots to make it memorable. So we used a rotational 360 degree shot which we sped up. This suggests drunkenness, deterioration and spinning out of control. This also just suggests to the audience that something bad is going to happen. We tried our first attempt of the opening title sequence in a modern house, however it lacked atmosphere and a sense of isolation. We then rented out a very old mansion. The mansion we used was creepy and large enough to feel alone. This fits into Wes Craven's theory of absence of parents cause a problem in horror for young people. The room we used in the mansion was used as a gym. This particular room served our purpose because it was spacious and had a round table right in the middle of the room. We threw a sheet over some of the equipment to make it look more mysterious. This is similar to the others when Nicole Kidman throws a sheet. The door in the room where our demon stands behind whilst it opens with stained glass. This associates with church dead people and the big black cross suggests the resurrection. The room is also filled with books, which implies it's old and full of stories. We repeatedly use shots of the Ouija board, as this is central to our narrative, but we tried to make it interesting by using a variety of different shot types. Here we filmed a mid close-up, and we loved the shot because of the irony, as it is covered in alcohol and bottles. Clearly dis depicting me, we are doing something we shouldn't. In this way, we are doing a classic representation of the irresponsible teenagers inviting, inviting trouble, like Marty and the Cabin in the Woods. The smash of the glass is deeply symbolic in our open title sequence, an iconic turning point in the sequence. A bit like the opening of The Woman in Black, where, Rad where Radcliffe sees the dead wife in the mirror. We know things have gone wrong, and that to Todorov's equilibrium has been disturbed, or the shooting in the beginning of Mama. To attract our male audience, it was important to cast some eye candy, so we used the opportunity of the possession to get some nice close-ups on Kirsty, our very pretty blonde, petite lead character. We are very proud of our reveal sequence when it entered the room as a possessed Yuri type character. We used a cutaway shot as the door opened to a character backing away in the fear to help build the suspense of the reveal and then an extreme zoom onto the Yuri. In this way, we were directly influenced by JK Horror where Yuri is used to create fear, representing the undead. To create our Yuri, we used proper stage makeup from eBay. It took us ages to do, but the effect was well worth it. Our monsters is easily comparable to the monster in the cabin in the woods, or Mummer. Our closing shot again reinforces the idea of what will come next in our movie.